been two weeks. Haven't got a shot yet. Nope. Starting to wear on me a little bit. <laughs> um, which one do you want to hit first? I don't know. Tell me when to stop. Do you want to go that way or do you want to go that way? <laughs> stop. <laughs> this one. Dude, I fell over and that's the one I was looking at. Well, that's a sign. I, yeah, I, I don't think it really thing. matters. I have a feeling whichever one we hit, or if we hit both, it's not going to be the last time we hit these jumps. It's just going to be the first time. bright and early. I heard a rumor it might be Bluebird today, but we went up in the storm and built a couple jumps in the last couple of days, waiting for it to snow a little bit more. Uh, it looks like it's popping blue today. I'm gonna go up there and see what we're looking at, how much it snowed, and uh, hopefully catch some air. Just get back into the groove with Brandon for the first real session with him, so Baker boys. 2021. Majestic. Aaron, how much snow we actually got there? the jump built and this is usually the time I just like to put my spurts on and kind of like pretend like I'm working but not really just kind of walk around like Tor's actually working Watch Tor stomp around. Basically, this is the time where I just stand and kind of stare at things, wonder how it's gonna go when I go off the lip, how I'm gonna look in the air, what trick I'm gonna do, and then I get distracted and I start looking at this jump. I'm like, okay, what can we do here? But as far as actually like finishing the jump, I'm not really doing much. But if I get a vibe where I'm like, like Tor kind of looks at me like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, we're supposed to be finishing this jump. Then, I'll just kind of start like stepping it out a little bit. See if he's looking. He's not looking anymore, so now I can just kind of chill. She's almost there. Yeah, you just got to stomp this out a little. That's what I was doing. I like it. This is when you say something epic though, like it's all done and... Excuse me. Brandon, Brandon. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm ready. 
so ready. <laughs> so glad I brought my oatmeal today and my backpack. And it exploded all over the insides of my backpack. <laughs> Damn. Like pulling my GoPro out, put pulling oatmeal pieces off of it. Just a little bit of oatmeal, it's no big deal. You look very handsome today, Brandon. Did you put anti-aging sunscreen on your face? I did. Nice. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, you're welcome. It's a newest in sunscreen technology. You look at least five years younger. So I look 30. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> How old are you? We'll say it at the same time. One, you know, one, two, one, two three. three. Shit. Imagine if we had these things when we were like 12. We did have those things when we were 12. Be even better. <laughs> Some might say we're seasoned. I think age doesn't really matter as long as you're trying to get rad. Age doesn't matter, size doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually, when I say usually, I mean what we're used to in a, you know, classic snowboarding season we usually do all these like strike missions where if we see a storm coming to Austria, we can just jump on a plane and we'll be there ready to go in two days and uh, being able to like just hit that window. This is really, really different uh, this year. And I think in a, a great way where a lot of us have realized that slowing down is a huge benefit to, to everything. So we've been on foot a lot. Just being on the ground is, is really eye-opening for me because you, you, you look at everything from a whole different perspective and hiking up the thing you can, you can see a lot more, a lot more flavor for your riding. We usually go by sleds and you just bypass so much which, which is really cool and, and heli riding too it's, it's really sweet when you get those opportunities but this is just physically just hoofing it up the mountain and <laughs> you're, you're forced to use the the engine a lot more in a different way so it seems almost perfect for this season of um, taking things a little bit slower. I think this way of making the most out of every shot that we possibly can uh, not just from the riding side but the filming side as well and make each clip just stand alone as, as this unique piece of art. It not only happens out there, but in the editing bay as well. That's just sort of a, a formula that we've come across, I guess, this, uh, these past couple of years. But... When you're riding and when you're doing certain tricks, they feel good in different ways. You almost feel it like what it would look like, and then you're like, oh, it'd be really cool if it was filmed this way. When we get to spots, we start to look more for that dynamic shot using the terrain to capture some movement and also get nice and close and you see that body language more and that style more i think and when you're getting ready on the trailhead and you're putting your snowshoes on and you have your 50 pound backpack and your tripod and your board and everything else and you know it's going to be a long day and you're hiking way out just to attempt to get those shots that you've been thinking about and a lot of the time it doesn't work out. Sometimes it turns into something different and you're like, that's cool too. That's something that sparks a new tangent of like, yeah, we can get it that way. There's a lot of coordination involved. When I get that frame right and when they get that trick right, and you're like, that's what I was thinking of. That's exactly what I was thinking of. It's a really fun way of doing it. Uh, it's a really re rewarding way of doing it too, where it just, each clip motivates the next one. Uh, we did that for light, and we, it was different for after light, but same kind of formula. And then we're just trying to apply that this year as well. For us, I think we figured out that this is the way that, that gives us the most energy at the same time as, as we put it out. Baker's a wrap. We did it. Did we, did we do it? We did it. We did the thing. Fitness reality check 3000. 
for all of us. And when I say all of us, I mean you. <laughs> no. I think we all did, but uh, I'm the one making you carry the 50 pound camera bag all over the place for those dope follow cams, which I think is worth it. So worth it. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay, good, that makes me feel better. <laughs> no, Baker was awesome. We, uh, we got into some really deep snow, which felt amazing. Got to hit some good jumps, ride some little fun lines, do some slashes and pretty much everything we were hoping to, to, to drive that far for. And now, yeah, that was three weeks in the books and it's starting to heat up out there. We're talking about a 50 year storm heading towards Colorado and we're just pointing the ship back down that direction. Uh, yeah, Brandon had to leave us a couple days early in this last storm cycle due to some, some family business. I think we, we ended it on a good note. The last day was really cool. We got to hit a really sweet little step down jump and, and do some good turns. And then it was just time, time to get out. Freaking amazing first time experience uh, around the Northwest, the Baker area. So really glad we went. Uh, now we just gotta keep trucking and keep hustling. Keep on hustling, you know? Things. No, that's good. Hey, Mr. Chad O. You, uh, you want to hit this? I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a ride. Yes.